Okay, welcome to Unit 6, Lecture Part 1. In Unit 6, we are going to cover factoring, uh, factoring polynomials. So our Part 1 first, we're going to learn how to factor by grouping and also how to find a GCF, which is the greatest common factor of a polynomials. So again, our objective is factor out the greatest common factor, also factor by grouping, and also how to factor difference of two squares. It is a very unique way of doing it. So in this session, we will discuss factory where the coefficient of the polynomial and the polynomial factors are integers. And if a polynomial cannot be factored by using integers only, we call it a prime polynomial. So we will see examples soon. So factor of the greatest common factor the method we normally use is to use the distributive property to expand the expression. So again, use the distributive property to expand the expression. Or we sometimes need to re reverse this process. Again, using the distributive property by factoring an expression as a product of simpler ones. And the example here will help us to understand this point. So for example, we can write s squared minus four is s minus two, s plus two. So here we are expanding it. Now, why is it so? Remember we discussed about difference of two squares. So s squared minus four is the same as writing s squared minus two squared. The difference of two squared means we find the difference of the first exponent times the difference of the sum of the second exponent. So when I have s squared minus two squared is the same as writing s squared minus two times s squared plus two. Now, if it's a plus, we cannot do that. So if it's s squared plus two squared, we cannot. So that's why it's called difference of two squares. I have s squared and two squared, they are difference of two squares. So in difference of two squares, our solution will be the difference of the two terms multiplied by the sum of the two terms. They are no more squared. So we say that s minus 2 and s plus 2 are factors of s squared minus 4. So example here, they say we should factor each expression given to us. Now by looking at this expression, I can see that difference of 2 squared will not work. Why? Because there is no value that when we square we get 3. Also, we have x here, so we can square x if it's x. Now, if, for example, it's x raised to the power 4, we can write it as x squared and square again, so we can square it. So this means we have to use the GCF, that's the factor as the greatest common, the, find the greatest common factor. So I have 3 here and I have 6. So the common factor here will be 3. I have s squared and I have cx, the form common factor of this. So I'll get 3x. Now I'm going to divide 3x squared by x and also 6x by 3x. Because the common GCF here is 3x. So I'll divide 3x squared by 3x and 6x by 3x. So our final answer will be 3x, a parenthesis, x minus 2. The same thing applies to the second one. Again, we are going to solve this problem in the next slide. Uh, here, we also have to see if we can find the difference of two square. Of course, this will not work at all because difference of two square, we have only two terms. Here, we have three terms. So first, we have to find a way to take the common greatest factors out. So we know we have eight, we have six, and we have two. So two will be the common factor among them because two can go into two, one, two can go into six, it's three, two can go into eight, is four. 
I cannot use eight because eight cannot go into six. To go into six, zero remainder six. And we use the term divisible. So two is divisible for two and it's for six and for eight. Now I look at the term x and I'll look for the lowest exponent, which is x. So which means so far we have two x as our common factor. I will look at y. The lowest y is y squared. So this means our common factor will be 2x and y squared. So I'm going to divide the first term by 2xy squared, the second term by 2xy squared, and the last term by 2xy squared. So let's see how this problem is solved in the next slide. So we remember we have 3x squared minus 6x. So the greatest common factor will be 3x because we can see that 3x count is divisible by 3x squared, remember x. 3x is divisible by minus 6x, which will go in 2. So that's what we have here. 3x squared minus 6x is the same as writing 3x, then x minus 2. Now, when you take the greatest common factor out, you divide the two terms by it. So I'll divide 3x squared by 3x, and that will give me x. Then 6x by 3x, that will give me 2. So factorize this problem using the GCF. First, we look at the term, look for the common factor among all the terms. It can be more than two terms, three, four. Our next example will be three terms. So by looking, I saw that 3x is divisible by 3x squared. The remainder, the answer will be x. 3x also is divisible by minus 6x, which is 2. So that's why we get 3x, s minus 2. That will be our final solution. Now let's try the next example. Remember the next example, we have three terms. So first we look at the constant value. We have 8, 6, and minus 2. Again, let's go back to the question. The constant value is 8, 6, and 2. So the common factor here will be 2 s to the power 4, s to the power 3, and x. I will take the variable with the least exponent is x, so x. So we get 2x. We have y squared, y cubed, or y to the power 4, so y squared. So that will give us, the GCF will give us 2xy squared. And that's what we're trying to do here. So we have the factor of 2, the next x variables, we have x as a common. The y variables, we have y squared, because squared is the lowest exponent. Now, if we have this, now we can solve our problem. So here we have, uh, at the day. let's go back. So this will be the expression. So here we have a common factor here will be 2xy squared. Then I look at the question here, 2s squared, sorry, 2sy squared. If I divide 8s to the power 4y squared, I will get 4x cubed. y squared will cancel, so 4s cubed plus 6 and 2 will give me 3. s cubed and s will give me s squared. y squared and y cubed will give me y. So we get 2s square y. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so 2 is gone. S and s also is gone. By this time, we have y square. By here, we have y to the power 4, so we get y square. So which means the final answer will be 2xy square parenthesis 4s cubed plus. 3 s square y minus y square, and that will be our final solution. So, the next example here is this we should factorize 2 x plus 4 s minus 3 minus 5. S cube. So, the first thing we do is distributive again. You can see. This is multiply, this is minus. So if we have multiply, then the best thing we should do is we should do our distributive property here. 
Now, this is factoring by grouping. You see, we have S minus 3 here, S minus 3. Multiply, multiply. So finally, when you are doing factoring by grouping, we have to make sure that where we have the sum or the difference, which is in this case, we have a uh, difference minus. To my right, the first term, I have S minus 3. To my left, the term, I have S minus 3. Now, if I have S plus 3 here, I cannot do grouping. Grouping means all the terms must have some common value. So now, since I have S minus 3 for the first term, S minus 3 for the second term, they are multiplying. I will take the S minus 3 out, 1. Then I'll multiply by the rest. So here I have 2s plus 4 minus 5. So we have 2s plus 4 minus 5. 4 minus 5 will give me minus 1. So our final answer will be 2s minus 1 times s minus 3. This is what we call factoring by grouping. Sometimes when we have a question whereby we have to simplify so that we have a common value in each term so that we can be able to group it. So let's see some more example here. Now here they say we should factor 3sy squared plus 6x. Uh, so we look for the common value here. And the greatest common factor will give me 3 can go into 6 also, can go into 3. So I will take the 3 out. I have x and x, so x also out, y squared is only one. So the greatest common factor will be 3x. So that's what we said, 3x. So the next stage is we write the 3x, and remaining will be y squared plus 3x, the remaining will be two. Because when I divide 3x y squared, the first term by 3x, I'll get y squared. If I divide 6s by 3s, I'll get 2. So that's why we have y squared and 2. So our final solution is 3s is common. So we take 3s out, then we get y squared plus 2. So the answer will be 3x, y squared plus 2. Now let's see an example for factor by grouping again. So here they say we should factor ax plus bx plus a plus b. Now we have to make sure we have the common values here. So what I can do is I can, com I can combine AX plus BX and A plus B separately. Then we factor it X, then we get actually that's here AX plus BS plus A plus B. We know S is common here, X, A plus B. A plus B, the common will be one, so we get one A plus B. Now, we have only two terms here. Each term have one common value, which is A plus B, A plus B. So I can group it by saying the final answer will be A plus B times A plus one. Here we don't write the one, but it's one. Actually, that's what we write written here. So the answer will be A plus B, A X plus one. So here you can see the previous example, they already give us the question in this form. So we see A plus B, A plus B. But here we have to factorize. So we take S out, A plus B plus one is common among A plus B. So one then A plus B. Now factor the difference of two squares. We saw one example already, this is another example. So we have s squared minus y squared, which will be s plus y times s minus y. Now this is an example, factor 18t squared minus 32. Uh, when we look at this question, there's no a value that when we square, we get 18. Also with 32, there's no value that when we square, we get 32. So the first thing we may try to remove the GCF if it's possible. So I can see that, yeah, it's possible. Two is common among the values. So two will go into 18 is nine. Two will go into 32 is 16. 
So I'll get 18 t squared minus 32, which is our original question. Two is common, so I'll take the two out. Two divided can go into 18 is nine, then t is, sorry, t squared minus 32 divided by two will give me 16. So now we can see that in the parentheses, we have difference of two squared because we're going to get nine is the same as three squared. So three squared t squared minus 16 is the same as four squared. So we get three two, that means three t all square minus four square. So difference of two squares. So which means our answer will be three t plus four, three t minus four because it's three t all square minus four square. So the difference of the first term multiplied by the sum of the tens also. So again, difference of the two, the two terms times the sum of the two terms without the square. So three square t square minus four square will be three t plus four, three t minus four. And of course we have two already as I just here, so we have to include it. So our final solution will be two, three t plus four, multiplied by three t minus four. Another example here, they say we, find, we should find the GCF of the list of monomials. So let's see the first one. We have three x cubed, nine x squared y squared, 18 x cubed y. So three is common to nine and 18. So I'll take three out first. X is the lowest exponent. So x, y squared, no, y is the lowest exponent. We have only y here. So the GCF will be three as y. Now next we should factor out the GCF. We have eight s cubed plus four s squared plus two x. So I'll look for the GCF. First of all, two is the lowest. Two can go into two, can go, two can go into four, two can go into eight. So I'll take two out. And then x to the power one is the, one is the lowest exponent. So the GCF here will be 2x. I'll divide all the terms, 8s cubed by 2x, 4s squared by 2x, 2s by 2s, 2s by 2s will give us one, 4s squared by 2s will give me 2x, then 8s cubed will give me 4s squared. The next question is factorized by grouping. We have s cubed plus seven s squared plus 12 s plus 40. We have to be careful here because we want to factor it in a way that the first term we may have a value that is multiplied to it. And the second term we may have the same value multiplied to another term. So the best way to do this, I can see that, okay, I have two and 14, that can give me seven. If I take two out, I'll get seven, x, seven here, and then x. And also I have s cubed and s squared. Okay, if I take s squared out, I'll still get x plus seven. So the best way to combine this is s cubed plus seven s squared, two s plus 14. Again, you can combine it anyhow you want. I can say, okay, s cubed plus 14, seven s squared plus two, but I'll find out that I won't get a common value among them then you change the combination. But this is the right combination. So you can see that when we take the GCF out from s cubed plus seven s squared, we get s squared s plus seven. When we take two out of two s squared plus seven as our GCF, we still get s plus seven here also. So s plus seven, s plus four seven, we are good to go. Factor by grouping. We get s squared plus two times s plus seven. And that's what we did here. So this will be the conclusion of our unit six, part two lectures, which cover factory polynomials using two method, the greatest common factor, and also factor by grouping. And also we introduce the difference of two squares, how to factorize the difference of two squares. Thank you.